Yo, what's going on everybody? Mr. Tech Rant here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your MacBook Air. So, you know, with the whole pandemic still going on and people wanting to, you know, keep their stuff clean and disinfected, I'm just gonna show you how to clean this and we're gonna jump straight into it. Now, you can use a couple of things to clean your MacBook. And I'm talking about the outside of the MacBook. I'm talking about inside the MacBook and you can pretty much use this stuff regardless. So what we're gonna use is, honestly, I just like going with alcohol wipes. These are 75% alcohol wipes. I believe you can use as low as 70%, but we're gonna go with this. This is 75%. This is stuff that they hand out to help disinfect stuff. So this is what we're gonna go with. Also, if you go on Apple's website, they give you some tips and tricks on, you know, what you should do to help clean your Mac and to disinfect it and to be safe with it. But the number one reason why I go with alcohol is because it evaporates. So a lot of times some people will think about using, you know, soap and water. I would not use soap and water around a laptop. I would use the alcohol wipe because you can wipe it down. It's going to evaporate and you're going to be good to go. You can do the same thing if you have rubbing alcohol. Now, with rubbing alcohol, all you really got to do is just take a little bit of it and dab it on a microfiber type cloth and then just use that to clean your MacBook. Nothing too crazy, nothing too, you know, out of the ordinary. Also, if you go on a plane, they'll give out these little Purell, you know, hand sanitizing wipes or whatnot. I've used this to clean my MacBook before. So definitely if you have one of these laying around, you can use this to give your MacBook a quick wipe down, whether or not you're going through TSA or doing anything else. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now you would think that turning this off <laughs> would be like the way to go about cleaning it. But when you turn this MacBook off and you open up the lid, it's going to power back on anyway. So that's why the computer is on, but I'm just going to take an alcohol wipe. And then honestly, I just use the wipe itself. So just take it and wipe down the MacBook. So this is going to help you get rid of fingerprints, but it's going to also help disinfect the surface and you can go all the way around. You can really use one wipe for the entire outside of it. And don't worry about getting your fingers on there because I'm pretty sure if you're cleaning your MacBook, your fingers are already clean. So it does leave a little bit of a residue. So we're going to take our microfiber cloth and we're just going to slowly wipe this down. And like I said, the alcohol evaporates. So it pretty much gives you a nice, you know, streak free type of sheen. Also, for those of you who have that uh, mirror finish on there, you wipe that off. It's just like it's brand new. So we're come back around. We're going to do the same thing. Um, I go in a circular motion. I really don't care. You can either go side to side or you can go up to down, but I just go in a circular motion because it's easy and bam, that's pretty much how the outside is disinfected. Now, if we go to the inside, once again, um, you could reuse the same wipe, honestly, if, um, uh, you know, it still has some alcohol on it, but let's say it dried out. You can, uh, go ahead and get you another wipe here. I'll pull that out. And then I'll just lay this on here and then I'll lightly go over the keyboard because if you hit too many buttons, you could probably, you know, mess something up or click on something you don't want to click on. So I'm just lightly going over this. If you have some like heavier stains, food, grease or whatever, just put your fingers on it, press down a little bit and go across. The alcohol somewhat acts as a lubricant so you can easily go back and forth without putting too much pressure. Then you take your microfiber cloth, and then you just go back and forth across the keyboard. If you do have a brush or like something that's a soft bristle, you can actually, you know, go in between the keys and get in between these keys, but these keys are really shallow, like a real short travel. So I really don't worry about that, you know, too much. It stays pretty much clean most of the time. And then 
you can get the inside edge here and you can clean that part off. So the last part that I'm going to clean is actually the screen. Now some people say lay it down, some people say put it on the towel or whatnot. I just do things a little differently. So all I do is I just put my hand right behind the screen. I am going to take another wipe and I'm just going to wipe the screen. Nothing too complicated about it. Um, just take your alcohol wipe and go down across the screen. And it usually helps if you have a light, if you're, uh, you know, a stickler for getting every single smudge or whatnot. But I am just focusing on disinfecting because sometimes the stuff that's on the keyboard will get on the screen. Sometimes you will touch your screen or someone will point at it. So we're just cleaning it off. And now I am just drying up the alcohol with the microfiber cloth. Once again, I don't care which direction I go in just as long as I get it clean. But, you know, for those of you who want to be extra with it, you can like fold it in half and do all that stuff and then lightly wipe across the screen if you want to. But honestly, that's really about it. You're just going to take your screen. You're going to check it in the light, see if you have any thumbprints. And I just hold on to this. That way I don't push it back too far. And literally you can just use the weight of the cloth to go across. You don't have to really push on it or do anything too crazy. So um, pretty much from here, this is satisfactory for me. And now it is disinfected. Uh, once again, like I said, if you didn't have alcohol wipes, you could literally take rubbing alcohol. You could put some on here a little bit and you can go across the screen, flip this over and dry it with the other end and you will be completely fine. Also, you can take the rubbing alcohol, you can put it in like a hairspray bottle or anything to where you can, you know, shoot it as a mist. Um, a lot of people will say, hey, don't shoot it directly onto the screen. Um, I don't think it really hurts that much as long as you have it on the spray, like don't put it on the jet stream, but you can put, you can spray a little bit on the screen and go across or you can spray some onto the cloth and then go across that way. It'll be totally fine. Um, like I said, using rubbing alcohol is better than using water because if water gets inside your machine, it could damage the components. And you know, that's not exactly a good thing, but that is the pretty much the entire video on how you clean your MacBook. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and, and put them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, y'all take it easy. Peace.